Salawam, all praises to Yahweh, Ba'asham Yahweh Shai, double honors unto the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, and Shalom to you sincere Akion. Um, this is an article that I came across um, on Forbes.com entitled Science Says Superman Should Be Black. Alright, so I'm going to get right into it. And there's a lot to this. So, the guy that wrote this article. J.V. Shamara, I believe he's an Elamite, well I'm not too sure what nation he is, I haven't looked into him, but um, it says Superman should be black, by that I mean he should be, should have dark skin, and not that he's African American or any other person of colour, well he's not African American, but he is actually, really, actually, um, one of the 12 tribes of Israel, man. And I'll say they base him upon a Jew that, which I'll get into, okay, as the lesson goes on. After all, the man of steel is from the planet Krypton, not Earth. That said, basically the, the Krypton, and the apostles broke this down before the word crypt. Krypton goes back to the word crypt, which means um, hidden. Like you have cryptic Jews, which they basically hide their identity of being Jewish. Not the real Jews, but the false Jews. All right. So, in fact, it's saying Superman's from a hidden planet and or a hidden nationality. You could say a hidden world, and we're from a world known as Israel that's hidden in these days. Okay, the Lord is is taking our heritage away from us and it's being reclaimed today and reestablished today. It's headed by the apostles at Great Millstone. Okay. Okay, it's from planet Krypton, not Earth. That said, Superman could indeed be played by a black actor in future superhero movies. And really, ultimately, he should. Because what they've based this upon is actually um, a Jake, man. My argument for why Superman should be black is based on science. Before I explain the reasoning, however, we need to address a sensitive subject. Okay, well, it's luck here. So he said it all there, it's based on science. So now we're going to go down to this part of the article. This is solar-powered cells. In the movie Man of Steel, Superman asks his biological fam um, father why he's different from humans. As Jarrell explains, Earth's sun is younger and brighter than Krypton's was. You know this is all fictional, this isn't actually factual. Um, your cells have drunk in its radiation strengthening your muscles your skin your senses <laughs> very funny because you know this the guy that's playing um superman is this cracker henry cavall which is from jersey which is an island off the coast of um the uk the united kingdom britain so um he's a pale pacey cracker for him to be you know taking in the sun right the sun rays of the the sun is quite um, comical well it is based on the comic so but I read on the fact Superman is powered by solar radiation light is also shown in Batman v Superman Dawn of Justice in one scene he regenerates after bathing in the sun's rays paying homage to the comic that inspired the film The Dark Knight Returns when he tells Mother Earth the sun power fuels us both alright so basically saying that he used the sun to rehabilitate him. Reading on, almost all life on Earth, almost all life on Earth is ultimately powered by the sun via photosynthesis. Plants and other organisms use light to make food, carbohydrates from CO2 and water. Their photosynthetic cells also release oxygen, which can be used to burn energy-rich carbs that fuel metabolism. All right. So basically what's really being said is because he's got pale skin, it don't really back up the story in terms of facts in their science using, but it's really factual because the so-called white man lacks pigmentation due to the curse that the most high Yahweh by Shem El Shai placed upon him, going back to when he was Cain. And then really was continued on um when he was born as Esau. You know, there was a mark set upon Cain and then it was a mark. Esau was born with that same mark, all right, to show that he's the wicked one. So, 
in bearing that mark. That's why when they go out to the sun, they get red light lots of They're known as in down south in America. They're known as redneck rednecks. Or when they get angry, they go red because they lack the blood is shining full through their flesh, their skin, rather than having melanin, which is used as a pigment to basically take the sun rays or the sun and convert it into energy. So basically on the basis of what they're saying, it don't match up. And really this is all about pushing forth the image of the so-called white man being as God. All right. Because this, the, the Superman is purely based upon the most high of the Bible and his son. All right. But really his son ultimately. Okay. And also, um, they even show you this. If you see the original, the first one, Man of Steel, the most recent one, before um, the Batman film, Batman vs Superman, basically you see when he walks in to um, the courtroom, everyone he had a fucking nigger woman all getting wetting her panties over him. And why was that? Because they're 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 pushing forth that image that the white man is God. He's all brolic and shit. But that don't mean nothing. You know what I mean? Because at the end of the day, it's a movie. So I wanna steamroll on. Now, this is something known as the Superman curse. <laughs> so, there's actually a curse in Hollywood for anyone that plays Superman. The majority of them, they, they end up with a curse after they, they, they feature in the movie Superman. Okay? So, I, I don't want to really go through this for, for the interest of time because I really want to make this a, a quick video. But if you read this article, you'll find out loads of information talking about the curse that Superman had, that Superman got. So um, it just says the, the best person to mention is um, Christopher Reeve who played Superman and ended up being paralyzed after horse, horse back riding. And that movie was one of the, the best, in my opinion, even though it's a, it's a fallacy. That was a, the main one I remember growing up as a child, seeing the Christopher Reeve Supermans. And I don't think there's any other ones that really can reign in my mind like that but um yeah there's a long list of people that were affected by the curse okay so um moving on now this is what i want to show you the origins of superman to show you purely based upon the bible okay so this is an ex excerpt from the wikipedia superman page some see Jew judaic themes in Superman. Simchar Weinstein notes that Superman's story has some parallels to that of Moses. For example, Moses as a baby was sent away by his parents in a reed basket to escape death and adopted by a foreign um, culture. Weinstein also posits, posits that Superman's Kryptonic, uh, Kryptonian name Kalel resembles the Hebrew words of qual, qual Allah, okay, um, which can be taken to mean voice of God. Now, the way he's written it, it does actually mean that, that Hebrew there is qual Allah, but I, it ain't really, that's not what the name is. It's kel el, kel el, kal, ka, la, kal, which means all, and Allah, which means power, because he's really all powerful. That's what Superman's based upon. Okay. Now, um, reading on it says, um, but you can take that even for his prophets, because you know his prophets are going to be bestowed upon with power, and his main prophet that he used first and foremost was Yahweh Shai. Well, so but really, in the true sense of the name, Kalel is really all powerful. But um, it goes on to say, Larry Tai suggests that the voice of God is an allusion to Moses' role as a prophet. The suffix L, meaning of God, is found in the name of angels, Gabriel, Ariel, who are airbound humanoid agents of good with superhuman powers. The Nazis also thought Superman was a Jew. And in 1940, Joseph Goebbels um, publicly denounced Superman and his creator, Siegel. So that really shows you that they based him upon the Bible, okay? Because all the stories line up, and they said Moses, but really they based it upon Yahweh Shai because Moses actually played, you know, in the Bible he played 
the similar role of Yahweh Shai. Okay? So now, one thing I will say about Moses, what color was Moses? Um, Exodus 4 and 6, And the Lord said furthermore unto him, Put now thine hand into thy bosom. And he put his hand into his bosom. And, and when he took it out, behold, his hand was leprous as snow. Now this is one of the miracles that Moses was given from the Lord, Yahweh, Yahweh at the time, you know, via the angels. And it was to put his hand in his, in his bosom, in his cloak, and then take it out. And then it looked white as snow. So that just shows you leprosy, it to look like a white person, all right? Because you lack pigmentation. There's nothing healthy about that. Verse 7, and he said, put thine hand into thy bosom again. And he put his hand into his bosom again and plucked it out. And it's out of his bosom. And behold, it was turned again as his other flesh. So Moses was a so-called um, black man, a man of color. Now reading on Superman stories were occasionally exhibited Christian themes as well. See, so it's all based upon the Bible. The Bible is a cornerstone of most of the movies, 100% of the movies in the cinema, unless they're based upon um, period pieces of history. But most of the time, when they want to get a good story, they delve deep into that Bible, man, because it's got great stories. Okay, screenwriter Tom Mank Mankawizik consciously made Superman an allegory. He says he consciously made Superman an allegory for Yahweh for. The one they call Crash, Yahweh Shai, in the 1978 movie starring Christopher Reeve, the biggest one, and the one where he got what? Cursed. Bed, he got put in a wheelchair, man, fell off a horse. You know, and a horse symbols power as well. <laughs> so he, he got taken out, man. Baby Kello's ship resembles the star of Bethlehem, and Joel Joel's gives his son a Masonic uh, mission. So basically, you had the same kind of ordeal as Yahweh Shai in the Bible. Now, I just want to show how Yahweh Shai is Kel El and prove that he is the one true Superman. And that's why there is, in fact, a Superman curse. This is Matthew 28 and 18. And Yahweh Shai came and spake unto them, saying, All power is given unto me in heaven and in earth. I'll read that again. And Yahweh Shai came and spake unto them, saying, All power is given unto me in heaven and in earth. Yahweh Shai has all power over the heavens, the heaven and in the earth. Because that was his that's his right. As a ruler, the rightful ruler over the, the heaven and the earth. Okay? So when you check out the name Kel El, that's a fitting title to be placed upon Yahweh Shai. Okay? And it goes on to say, Go ye therefore and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son, which is the name of the Father is Yahweh, the name of the Son is Yahweh Shai, and in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit. Okay, teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you, and lo, I am with you all way, even unto the end of the world. Amen. So the main point to take away from that is that in fact, Yahweh Shai is all power because all power has been given unto him ultimately the most high yahweh bar shem yahweh the most high power is all powerful almighty um, father but then all power upon this earth has been placed in yahweh shai's hand and you read there where it says that you know christopher reeve was based upon you know carol's ship resembles the star of bethlehem bethlehem and joel's um gives his son a masonic mission so it's like joel plays it doubles up as the heavenly father so with that i pray you edified it's just a short lesson and to the point you know tr trying to keep it to the point so i pray you edified with that about to say shalom um, double honors unto the apostles of great millstone uh who praise to our bar shamel shai double honors unto the apostles of great millstone and elders of great millstone and shalom to you sincere, Akio. Shalom.